Alright, hey guys, so I was just working on my Modern Warfare review because that is coming, that is the next video I have planned. But I was interrupted by a swarm of notifications because we just got a big news blowout uh, when it comes to Cold War stuff. So, first things first, Cold War is getting a prestige system, and we're going to get more information on that tomorrow. But way more importantly than that, Modern Warfare is also getting a prestige mode. It's apparently a joint, like... It's the same thing, so here's how it's described here. So first things first, yep, new prestige mode, we know that's coming to Cold War. And then Modern Warfare, Black Ops, Cold War, and Warzone are going to be three different things that all share the same XP and ranking systems, and that's going to start with Season 1 uh, in December of Cold War. So Season 1, that's when it starts. Um, they use this graph here, which shows that it's like synchronized, and then you have your military ranks, for Cold War, Warzone, and 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 uh, Modern, War Modern Warfare, and then apparently there's this so seasonal levels and prestige. So it's kind of the and thing that I'm really confused on. So how are they handling, you know, because th this is coming to Modern Warfare as well. So how are they handling everything there? That's where I want to know. And I guess we're gonna get more information tomorrow on this. Um, but Charlie Intel goes on to whoa, whole screen refreshed. They go on to show some more things. So. As of the launch of the game, uh, all the Cold War operators are going to be used in Warzone, we kind of figured, uh, so we'll be able to play as like Adler and Woods and all those people, you know, in the actual Warzone multiplayer. Um, and then, you know, they're going to kind of have it so where since the, since the actual items and stuff like that are only for Cold War, for like the new battle passes and stuff, but the leveling systems are the, are the same. Um, you'll be able to still level up the Battle Pass in Modern Warfare Multiplayer and Warzone, but you'll only be able to use those items in Cold War and Warzone. So that kind of makes sense. They're combining all of the of the leveling systems, so they're adding this new Prestige Mode into Modern Warfare as well, and they're both going to share a leveling system, which is really interesting. Um, same thing, we already know the, the operators and the, and the content for like the Battle Pass and for the store content, that's all coming to Warzone. Um, Black Ops Cold War progression builds on a familiar and similar path to Modern Warfare while incorporating an innovative new prestige system, giving you more challenges and earnable content. So that's very interesting here. We don't have a ton of information yet, but we are going to be getting more information tomorrow. Um, and it just it's really interesting to see that Modern Warfare is also getting this new prestige system. That's, that's very interesting. Um, I mean, I'm glad because Modern Warfare, I really like Modern Warfare, and I would totally continue playing Modern Warfare at least sometimes, even after Cold War releases, but um, just, I'm very interested to see how they handle this, how, how they combine these two things, because we're getting the same progression system for two different games, so I just, I don't know, I just want to see, like, what, what happens to our Modern Warfare progression? Are we getting reset in December in Modern Warfare 2? Are we just starting from scratch over again, and they're just releasing this new thing as this new, brand new you know, Call of Duty, like, worldwide prestige, or not worldwide, but, like, game-wide prestige, depending on, you know, any mode in any game you play. I'm just, I'm curious to see how they handle this. I guess we're gonna get more information tomorrow, but I wanted to let you guys all know, since I care very deeply, deeply about this stuff, and it was funny that I was working on a new COD video, and then this happened, but anyways, that's pretty much it from, uh, pretty much it from me today. This is very, very sudden news, uh, and, like, this picture here, you have the, the Modern Warfare AK-47 and the Cold War AK-47 next to each other in the creative class. Like, that's what I want to know, is how they're going to be handling that for Warzone. Like, can I legit take, like, a Pellington and an, uh, you know, and a 205? Like, can I do that into Warzone? That'd be interesting, you know? That'd be very interesting. So, hopefully we get more information on that tomorrow as well, and not just on this prestige system. But, uh, I'm going to go back to working on that Modern Warfare review, and uh, if anything crazy happens tomorrow, I'll let you guys know too. Well, of course, five seconds after recording that video, this gets posted. So, hello, this is the roadmap for, uh, for the Season 1 content of Cold War. So, first things first, we are getting Nuketown, of course, we all kind of knew that. I guess that's coming on the 24th, uh, and then Season 1 begins on December 10th. So, uh, there's going to be the return of Gunfight, which is great, I'm happy to see it. Uh, it's a little disappointing it's not there at launch, but you know what, that's fine. I'm glad it's coming back. Uh, we get new modes and multiplayer maps, of course. Looks like the Groza is coming as a new as a new um, rifle, which is very interesting. They're announcing DLC weapons for 
Cold War and Warzone before the game is even out and we know like the actual base roster of guns. That's very interesting. Um, this gun here that Adler is holding, I'm not sure exactly what it is. It looks like it could be some kind of shotgun with this being like the drum mag. Um, I saw a couple of people say that it's going to be like a Tommy gun or something, but it doesn't look like that. So we'll see. Uh, it does look like more of a shotgun to me than an SMG, but I, again, we will see. Um, and then yeah, new zombies mode. Uh, so that kind of, uh, I don't know if that means like new zombies map, like a new actual zombies experience coming to season one, or if that's just like a new game mode. I guess we'll see. Uh, much more is just a general like more things coming, and then a classified war zone experience. That is very interesting to me. Is this this rumored new map that we are hopefully going to be getting, or what could this what could this part be? I guess we'll have to uh, wait and see on that one. But uh, yeah, Nuke Town is coming. Is the first DLC map. No one is surprised by this. We've had this leaked for fucking ages, and on top of that, even without the leaks. Um, it's a Black Ops game. Nuketown's gonna be here. Uh, we've had Nuketown in every Black Ops game, and in um, all the previous games, uh, except for the first Black Ops, because that was a, a base game. I believe it was a DLC map, right? Because it was a, it was a pre-order bonus for Black Ops 2, and then you had to wait like a month or whatever for it to come for everyone else. And then Black Ops 3, wasn't it also pre-order bon bonus on Black Ops 3? And then you had to wait like another month or whatever to, for everyone to get it. And then Black Ops 4, it was the first DLC map, just like this. And then in this game, yep, looks like, again, first DLC map, Nuketown. But coming out, that's, that's so soon. That's only like two weeks after launch. It's going to be weird not having it at launch, though. Like, every Black Ops game should have Nuketown. Uh, anyways, I just wanted, as soon as I saw this pop up, I'm like, okay, I haven't, like, posted the video yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and stop it and, and talk about this real quick. I'm excited. I mean kind of interesting we're getting this kind of stuff before we even I mean we don't even know what's in the base game yet we're already getting information on DLC weapons like I'm excited about the Groza the Groza is a cool ass gun but um, yeah I'd like to know what's in the base game first please <laughs> but anyways that's gonna be all for me for now and unless anything else crazy happens in the next five minutes I'm gonna start rendering this video now so I'll see you guys in the next one stay classy guys